हेलो शिवम थैंक यू सो मच फॉर जॉइनिंग अस थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग मी हियर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कंग्रेचुलेशन ऑन स्कोरिंग 99.95 परसेंटाइल इन कैट थैंक्स अ लॉट थैंक्स सो हाउ डू यू फील अबाउट इट दैट्स अ ग्रेट परसेंटाइल आई फील वेरी इलेटेड एक्चुअली आई वाज नॉट एक्सपेक्टिंग 99.95 आई वाज एक्सपेक्टिंग समवेयर अराउंड 99.8 ओके इट केम एज अ प्लेजेंट सरप्राइज टू मी राइट राइट So, can you tell us a little bit about your preparation journey? About when you started preparing and all that. So, I started around April. Okay. Uh, and like I started with uh, one of the previous year papers. Okay. I wanted to gauge where I stood. So, when I saw that paper, I realized that okay, so this is my strength. These are my weaknesses, uh, on which I need to work upon. And then I went about it. Right. Okay. Since you said you were a working professional when you gave CAT 2020, how did you manage your prep? Like, how much time did you put in for your preparation? So, since I was a working professional, I did not have the luxury to invest a lot of time during the weekdays. Uh, so, I was uh, backing up on my weekends. Okay. So, during weekends, I used to invest used to invest around five six hours, but during weekdays, I could barely manage to invest around you know one hour a day. so uh like during weekends i used to give mocks and then right. i used to analyze it and during weekdays i mostly used to revise all the concepts and you know, that is how i went up. right so how did crack online courses help you in your preparation so actually uh crack you sectionals and crack you mocks these helped me a lot especially after the change in the pattern so right. after the change in the pattern crack you immediately change their pattern as well so okay right which helped me a lot i mean it it took me some time to get accustomed to the new format that is where i went about giving sectionals so apart from mocks sectionals also helped me a lot right right so how did you stay motivated during your preparation like when did you feel like giving up i mean what you, what you used to do to keep yourself motivated so my my mocks percentile Especially during, uh, especially during the month of August, September. Okay. But then I had a bunch of good friends. Okay. Uh, I uh, we had a WhatsApp group, and we used to keep each other motivated. Uh, and you know, after every mock, we used to share what what went wrong and how should we go about it. And that is how we kept each other motivated. Right. So, how many mocks did you give, and how many hours did you spend on analyzing each mock? Okay. Put previous year papers as well, and previous year mocks as well. Uh, I feel that that is the optimum number of mocks which one should take. Right. There is no point over doing. Also, no point. I mean, if you are taking a mock, it is extremely important that you go, uh, you analyze it as well. I mean, there is no point giving a mock and then not analyzing it. So. Uh, three hours of mock, and I think around four five hours of analyzing. Uh, okay. Like this, so per mock around seven eight hours. Right. So, what was your most challenging section, and how did you prepare for it? What was the strategy on the day of the exam? So as I said, uh, I started with one of the previous year paper, and when I attempted it, I realized that V A R C and dlr both of both of them are my weaknesses and i needed to work upon that so for dlr for both of them actually i used to give a lot of sectionals okay apart from the mocks and i used to go through the solutions of each of the questions even if i have got it correctly uh, so as i said uh, my prc and my dlr was were my weaknesses yeah. i gave a lot of sectionals and Mostly during the sectionals, I used to see at the solutions to align my mindset with that of the question setter, and uh, that is how I went about VRC. For DLR, I used to solve a lot of sets. Uh, I, I uh, um, apart from what was there in the mocks, uh, I used to solve uh, puzzles as well. Right. I mean that is how I went about DLR. Right. And I tried to maintain a log sheet. Where I maintain what is my strength, what are my weaknesses, and everything. And in VRC also, 
in BIC, I used to I used to apply different different strategies. Like okay. In one of the mocks, I I started at, I went about attempting T uh, I C S first and V A questions later. In some, I switched between I C S and V A. So I tried different different strategy to find the most optimum one. Okay. So can you talk us a little bit about your quant strategy? So I knew that quant was something which is going to boost my score right. because it was my strength. So uh, I identified which were my weak areas, and like for me, PNC geometry, these were my weaknesses. So I gave a lot of topic test as well, particular areas. and i try to look at the time which i am spending on a particular question versus the time spent by other test takers okay. so as to uh, find the most efficient solution of any problem right so that is how i went about quant okay so so can you run us during your cat day how was your exam like uh, did go as per your strategy what surprises did cat throw and how were you prepared for that so actually uh, i had my exam in slot 3 okay so initially before the day i told myself that i'm not going to ask any of my friends but eventually i ended up asking them okay so i already knew about the pattern of the exam so i had some strategy in my mindset so but during the exam uh, like uh, those strategies failed actually okay. i i had initially thought that i would go ahead with solving all the rcs and then i'll jump to va but in the exam i found that uh, you know rc is very little tricky so i switched between rc and va okay so what happened in vrc in dlr i somehow knew that this paper is tough because of the inputs from slot 2 students right i did not know but i still did not was not able to gauge the actual toughness of the paper so it did surprise me a bit but Uh, so I was able to solve hardly two and a half set. So, but I knew that I am just short of three four questions. Okay. okay. So, uh, I did not let that affect my quant performance. In the first four or five minutes of my quant performance, I could not do a single question because of my DLR. But then I thought that okay, so I can still do good in quant, and maybe since quant has always been my strong suit. so i can manage and i can cover up for the mistakes that i did in dlr right great so can you tell us that one most important thing which actually helped improve your scores and in any section so i i feel that cat exam is not only about your skill set and knowledge it is also about your exam temperament all right so while giving mocks or while giving any full time uh, any full length paper you need to make sure that you are uh, You are trying to si- you should try to simulate the exam environment to the closest possible. Uh, as in, uh, as in, you are sitting for three hours. You know, you are not letting anything else disturb you. You are not doing anything. I mean, t- it should be like a proper exam. Right. So that should simulate the exam environment, and uh, that will help you build the mindset for the paper. Brilliant. So finally, do you have any tips for the future CAT aspirants? So I feel that. Uh, you need to keep yourself motivated during this preparation uh, at times you will feel like giving up on your prep right. but then you need to keep yourself motivated and you need to keep uh, that mean you need to have a good bunch of friends uh, try to gel up with them and yes. try to seek inputs from them as well and you never know what inputs uh, are going to help you on the final day right So thank you so much for joining us. I'm extremely grateful to you for having me here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.